start of the build for the 210's musical box for the wagon. Uh, there is the entire box cut up except for the port. That's the bottom, top, back, sides and the double baffle front. So that's that. Um, yeah, a little bit left over. House is starting to look like a full on workshop. We've got that box here again. Um, yeah, this is still before I uploaded this video. You've probably seen it by now. Right, there's the front of the box. That's the flush bit. Um, now that's what I call a tight fit. Okay, perfectly flush. And that is just resting on the actual sub. That is just, that's how tight it is. It's perfect. Um, yeah, and then just lift it off. So none of that's actually attached. It's just sitting there. Um, so there we have the front, the side, obviously that's the port. Uh, front of the box glued, um, nailed together, and then also routed, so it's perfectly you know, smooth and even. So I only started building this, um, let's see, I started at about 20 to 1, it's only 3.30, so that's where we're at. So it's all cut, that's all together now. Um, yeah, it's nice and clean, this build, like just because it's simple, but... Um, I could almost, you know, not have to silicone it and everything. It's so the other thing I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to whack a red and a blue neon in there. That, by no means do I think this is like, ooh, crazy custom. Um, I just had these lying around. I was like, yeah, why not? Um, so as you can see, by the time they mix, the port pretty much looks purple. So and there's the port. As you can see, very high tech. Whatever, that's tuned at 40 hertz. Um, yeah, which I, I think it'll be about right, two tens. Um, going by the, I did some WinISD different layouts of shit, and um, any lower wasn't really much much good. 40 seemed to be a better sweet spot for them, so we'll whack it there. I mean, actually, a little higher would have been better for SPL terms, but I don't want to go too much higher. I still like me lows, so. But anyway, that's just a quick silicon. Um, once that sets, dries, uh, then I can primer it and paint it. Um, so here's the terminals I got, obviously for the for subs, and I've just drilled a hole and put a grommet in there. Um, which is where the wires go through for the LEDs. It's 250 feet of Cadence 14 gauge. I also bought 150 of the blue in this as well because I already had some blue. Um, so it's it, this is what I'm going to be using in this in the Jackaroo when I when I rebuild the doors because I'm going to have heaps of runs of wire to the rear because there's going to be a lot in the doors. You'll see. Um, and just so I've got some wire. So what I've done here is I've already done the wiring. Um, so it's just positive and negative, um, but the way I've done it is, I'll explain. So what I'm going to do is I'll strip this back, twist the two together, and that'll be the positive, and then same here, that'll be negative. So really it's just doubling up 14 gauge. Um, then I'll have a joiner going from positive to negative so that I'm wiring them at 4 ohm, um, parallel series 4 ohm. But if I wanted to wire at 1 ohm, it's just because I'm running them off the Rockford, which is a 4 ohm amp bridged. Um, if I wanted them to, to, to run at 1 ohm, if I had a different amp, all I have to do is get rid of the joiner, get the positive, split the positive, so, so that I'm using the two actual sides, and go one positive, one positive on each woofer. So the same wiring can be used for 1 ohm or 4 ohm. All I have to do is add a joiner. Anyway, so that's painting grey. Um, so I will give that another coat of grey. Alright, and there's the LEDs. Um, and I've super glued them together. Just a bit of Shelly's. Um, just so that when they're in the box, they don't come apart. I think I'll just silicon them in the actual box, just on the sides of them. So yeah, that's just white painted in there. So there we go, that's the box put together. Um, and I've routed it now, so it's all flush. Wasn't too bad anyway, but whatever. Um, so all I gotta do now, I'm gonna round over the whole thing. Inside of the port and the actual whole box, which means I will have to touch up the port though once I round over it. There we have the box completely rounded over. One inch router bit. So that's my whole thing. I wanted it just smooth. Yeah. No sanding done yet. I just finished routering. Perfectly flush. You know. Just stuff like that. Um, makes a whole build. Just, just the little things. Port painted, taped up there. When I take it off, it's going to be um, the axle rounded bit will actually not be painted. It's just going to be like a perfect kind of square in there. I'm very happy with the way these subs sit. 
I will go as far as saying I did it too tight, because um, you actually have to like kind of push them in. But once they get in there, it looks awesome. Like, as I said, there's like no gap or anything. So, yeah, even without being carpeted or anything, um, I think it looks really good. So, again, there's no room to carpet it if I wanted to, because I did it so tight. But that's all right. There was never any plans to ever carpet this box. And at this stage, I'm not using T-nuts. Um, I'm just going to use standard old screws, just because I haven't got any T-nuts on me at the moment. Cool. All right, I'm going to crank it in a minute. So I'm going to put these on the ground here in the dark. Um, I will turn the lights on in a minute, but I just want to play with it like that. 80 watts. Um, I think that's all I'll show you now of this because it's not that exciting. We'll wait till it's in the car. So to resin the box, the outside, so I've taped up the port there, taped up the paint and made it so it can't drip in. So I've got my shitty roller here. Um, I bought two just in case. They were two bucks for the whole thing. So I'm just going to fill that up with resin and roll it on. been sitting a little while, so that's about, I've also resin the whole inside of the box now, just with what was left, because that was the last of my resin, so I just made it all, but yeah, it looks cool, I'm happy with that, it's all, yeah, it's nice and smooth, I'll definitely do that again, if I was going to do it, I'd just probably buy a little more expensive roll, maybe spend five bucks, just these cheap two dollar ones just aren't good enough, total cost for that build, with the resin, seventy dollars, without the resin, fifty bucks, so that is a box you can build yourself for fifty bucks. All you need, as long as you've got a router, a jigsaw, a, t a circular saw would help. You know, I mean, you probably do it without it, but you know, circular saw, a router, a jigsaw, and a nail gun. And that's all you need to be able to do a box like that. You know, for 50 bucks. I didn't do the bottom, so I just want to show you that as a comparison of the color difference. Um, and before someone says you should have put the port on the other side, because um, it'd be going in the wagon like that. Because um, if I put the port on the other side, technically it should be slightly louder um, on the term lab because the term lab goes on the passenger side. Again, this is a musical box, so I wanted it loud on the driver's side. Um, again, it's not going to be metered. Well, I might meter it once, but it's not a metering box. This is purely for, for daily driving, um, just to put where the sub's in. That's it. It is quite big for two tens. Um, but I as I said, the reason why it's so big for two tens, it's a musical box. They're only going to be on about 300, 350 watts each. They're rated at 600. Um, and so that's how I'm going to be getting something out of them is by making the box really big. Um, obviously, they wouldn't handle as much power in this box, but that's fine because they're not going to be getting it. But, um, yeah, that's that. Built, finished. Uh, install will be coming as soon as I got wire. I've got RCAs running in the car. Um, stay tuned. I've got a video coming up. I've got a new head unit for both my Jackaroo and for the wagon. So... Um, I've, I've ran wires and everything, so you'll get to see that. Uh, well, I've, I've got the amp. All i got to do is uh, get power wire. So, just because I'm trying to buy stuff from New Concepts, um, they won't get back to me. I've also got an unboxing of a Sundown Audio subs. Uh, you're going to like that. They're not mine. They're Jacob's. They will be going in that box. But, yeah, really, you're going to want to stay tuned. It's actually sitting next to my leg right now, but I'm not going to show you. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, so that's coming. And um, you've already seen the install for the Subaru. But if you haven't, go and actually... If you haven't actually seen that video, go and check it out. Um, Alright, so there's heaps coming, including some bass from these guys.